Experts say primary care, your family doctor, is really the key to making America healthier. And just as important to making health care more affordable. But here's the rub. Even though we need primary care physicians more than ever, there is a shortage and not enough in the pipeline. And as KCPT special correspondent Sam Zeff reports, in Kansas, the impact of massive tax cuts on funding for higher education may make the problem even worse. Here's a headline people in rural Kansas don't see enough. And it's a pretty big story. Right there on page three of the Sunday Hayes Daily News, pictures and all, four new physicians are moving to Hayes. This is important news because it's always been hard getting doctors to rural Kansas. Rural anywhere, really, but there's a confluence of events rushing together in Kansas that just might make it more complicated. The first is Obamacare. No matter what you think of the politics, the insurance, or the website, all future health care is predicated on primary care, and that means more family physicians. More primary care docs mean more people are going to the doctor, and that's just going to make us all healthier, right? Absolutely. Right now, the state says only 16 of the 105 Kansas counties have enough primary care doctors. And while this is particularly acute in small towns, there's also a shortage in KCK, Topeka, and Wichita. So at a time when we desperately need more family doctors, only one-third of medical school graduates choose that field. Honestly, when students come and rotate with me in their third year, I, there isn't a one who doesn't love family medicine. I think all students at the core, they all love family medicine. It's, I think, some of these other realities that, that happen between that point and graduation. They have to make more money. They have to make more money. Dr. Michael Munger is a family doc in Overland Park and is on the board of the American Academy of Family Physicians based in Leewood. It's not that family physicians make a pittance. Far from it. The most recent study shows that your family doc is making on average about $212,000 a year. But an orthopedic surgeon can make more than twice that. But here's the catch. Both are paying the same amount for school. In the U.S., that costs an average of $180,000 at a state school and over a quarter million dollars at a private one. Still, doctors every year choose family medicine. But they're making a decision against their own economic best interest, correct? Yes. Many times these students are making a decision against their own economic interest. Uh, it's something that has uh, perplexed me at times. We're at the Matfield Green rest area along the Turnpike, and anybody who knows Kansas knows we're on our way to Wichita. And that's where we interviewed Dr. Rick Kellerman, who chairs the Family Medicine Department at the KU Med Center Wichita campus. So tell me what your main mission is down here. Our mission in Wichita is to train physicians who will serve the state of Kansas. That's why this campus was put here, and that's what we're trying to do. And they are very successful. KU says 49% of doctors who do their residence at the Wichita campus end up working in rural towns and mid-sized cities. Not only is the Wichita campus placing doctors in underserved parts of the state, but it's graduating more family physicians than almost any other med school in the country. A study in the Journal of Academic Medicine says 46% of the school's residents go on to practice family medicine. That's sixth highest in the country. But just when KU needs to graduate more doctors, the Kansas legislature has cut taxes, wants to cut more, and is slashing the budget to pay for them. I'm going to refer to you as a former uh, Board of Regent member. That would be a great honor. I always like to be referred, anything to do with the Regents, it's a great honor. There is no greater supporter of higher education in Kansas than Topeka attorney Dan Likens, who spent eight years on the Board of Regents. Over the next two years, the KU Med Center will have its budget cut by $8 million and last year raised tuition by 5%. And what the end result's going to be, it's going to be more difficult to get the doctors we need in Kansas, more difficult to get the pharmacists we need in Kansas, to get the nurses we need in Kansas, to get the physical therapists we need in Kansas. It's going to be more difficult. And this is going to hurt our state for, for many, many years to come. The Med Center says the budget cuts mean 30 fewer slots for residents, nurses, and other students, 
plus about 30 blue-collar layoffs in Kansas City. The response was, let's cut the school program, the, the, the med program that you mentioned in Salina and Wichita. Jerry Lunn is a I, freshman I, member of the I Kansas House, representing response. part of South Overland I, Park. I it's, oh, He's on both the appropriations and, and education and, committees and, and, and just got done with a bus tour of the region's schools. He says now. there's probably so, other places uh, the med center could cut Chicago, besides education and research. I, I was disappointed in that as a response. I, I think it's their prerogative to decide how they do it, but I kind of felt like uh, that was an area of threat that, that uh, w w would be devastating to those communities. And just to show how most things in government are intertwined, Lunn is worried about a looming state Supreme Court case on K-12 funding. If the justices rule against the state, the legislature might have to find another $657 million for public schools. If you did a pro rata reduction on, to meet the $657 million hole for K through 12, or an increase to K through 12, you would have to cut higher ed $357 million if you strictly just went with the with the spending side of the equation. Lund says he's to committed to Governor K Brownback's desire to do away with the state income except tax except in Kansas. Still, he says he's a big supporter of KU Med Centers and calls them one of the state's jewels. Former Regent Dan Lykin says he's heard that before. Talk is cheap. And I, I know a lot of legislators over the years that will be at the, with KU in the Final Four and be at KU and big things and they're strong supporters at KU, then they go back in the legislature and vote against funding for KU. You know, it's very sad when, I, when you see that. At a time when everybody acknowledges Kansas needs more primary care physicians, and KU has proven it can graduate them, the question is, why cut the budget? Lichen says the answer is simple. Unlike most things in state government, there's another place for higher education to go for the money raising tuition for medical students and their families. And that means increasing their debt and making them less likely to become a family doctor just when we need them. Now, as Sam's report told us, a recent study ranked the KU School of Medicine in Wichita sixth in the nation for producing primary care physicians. So what are they doing right? Well, you can find out more on our website as we partner with sister station KMUW in Wichita, which has been reporting on this issue. We've got it at thelocalshow.org.